Prodigy has an awesome brand new battle rework system coming our way, and it's coming fairly soon. In this video, I will be going over everything that you need to know about Prodigy's new battle update before it's released. Let's begin. Now, one of the most important things is the introduction of a new main element into the mix, physical. This is an interesting new element. Now there is an element in the game that is powerful against Astral, but Astral is also powerful against it. The mechanics of this physical element are still confusing. Prodigy has now changed some pets that used to be other elements to the physical element. These pets have multiple physical spells and another spell or two. Two good examples of physical pets are Pterosaur and Embershed. Luminite and Shiver Tusk are also physical, along with some others. Physical spells can be very powerful, some of the most powerful spells in the game. It is also important to know that most spells are completely different from how they used to be. You can tell that a pet is physical by seeing this background on the results screen. It is a dark greenish blue color. Some rescuable pets are now shadow. That's right, Mimic is a shadow pet that you can rescue. Mimic is now a much better pet because it is the shadow element. Eclipse, one of the dragon epics, is also shadow. As you can see here, we have what is called a triple spell. It will deal three attacks on the pet, but this one isn't actually very good. Its aim, which is the likelihood of it actually hitting the opponent, is poor. Triple attacks are found in all elements except Astral. Now, some of these shadow spells are actually very powerful. Look at this shadow spell called Twilight. It has maximum power, excellent aim, and no recharge. That is a very good spell. Just look at the amount of damage it does, 551. That is extremely high in this new Prodigy. You can tell that a pet is shadow by seeing this purple background on the results screen. Crystal monsters used to be the only shadow pets in the game. It is currently unknown whether they will be made catchable since Crystal Caverns is closed off to accounts that have this update. Another important thing to talk about is healing spells. Some pets in the game have special spells that allow you to heal yourself and your team. Blizzherod and Magnome here both have one healing spell. Prodigy has seemed to completely remove the usage of healing items in the game, so this may be the new way to heal yourself during battles. Currently, only a few pets have healing spells though. You can use a healing spell to heal yourself or one member of your team. There does actually seem to be a healing element in the game now, but no pets have this element. Luma is an astral pet now. Currently, this is kind of confusing. Luma does not have any astral spells. Luma only has fire spells. It is extremely important to know that right now the only astral spell in the game is Starbit and that is the one spell that the wizard can cast along with All Out Attack. It is currently unclear why there is only one Astral spell in the game, and it is unclear whether Prodigy will add any more Astral spells to the game in the future. The only way that we can tell that Luma is Astral is that her background on the results screen matches the wizard's background. Since the wizard is Astral, Luma is Astral as well. Dice attacks are now a thing in the game. A dice attack is a special kind of attack. You can tell if an attack is a dice attack if it has this dice on it. In a battle with more than one monster, you can use a dice attack that will randomly choose one of the monsters to hit. You saw that it just selected between both of the monsters and randomly chose one. In a single monster battle, you can use a dice attack to deal good damage on your opponent. It is a good option because they are pretty powerful and do not require recharge. Leveling up is also a bit different as well. When you level up, you usually just get hearts every single time. Now, at different levels, you will get different things. 
At some levels, you can get power. At some levels, you can get speed. At other levels, you can get HP, hearts. And at other levels, you can get defense. So this is for when you are leveling up. I don't really know what these things do. I know that HP will give you more hearts, and that power will give you the ability to do more damage, but I don't know what speed and defense do. That's something else to be found out. One last thing to mention is that currently there are no heart bonuses in the game. No gear items have a heart bonus at all. Every gear item is now basically the same. The same goes for wands. There are no power bonuses. You could use a common item or a legendary item and you would not do any higher damage or have any more hearts. It is interesting to see where Prodigy is going to go with this. Also, most relics cast dice attacks. These are all of the main topics about the current state of Prodigy's new battle update that you need to know before its release. This has been a lot, and I tried to make it as short and simple as I could. There are still minor things that I left out of this video. If you think there was anything major that I should have included, let me know in the comments. While you're there, let me know all of your thoughts about this new battle update and when you think it will release. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more Prodigy content.